It started down at G02 and the elevator in the hallway. No alarms went off in the apartment at all throughout the building or the individual apartments. This is the minimal damage in the kitchen up here. If you can see that. This is what used to be my bedroom. Oh my gosh. And closet. Lord have mercy. I smelled the wiring burning and I actually was going to the elevator to go up to the first floor and when the button didn't light up I looked down and the smoke was rushing through the elevator so and that's when I started trying to pull alarms and they didn't work I ran out called 911 and that's when I ran into Don and he and I ran floor by floor to alert the tenants to get them out I feel okay. I feel a little stressed out that all my clothes are like smoked and hailed and everything, but you can't look at and blame anybody by this. Electric, electricity, it get hit the building, short out everything. You can't really blame anybody, but... And nobody was hurt? Nobody was hurt. Everybody's safe, so there's some property damage. It's pretty much the only thing. I heard a loud crack, crackling, and then my whole apartment would fill up with smoke. So then Valerie, uh, one of the managers here, knocked on my door, said, Don, there's a fire. You need to get out of the apartment. Well, I was like, well, who else knows about this because there's no fire alarms went off in the building at all. No, no lights, no sounds, no bells, no whistles, nothing. So I went, she took the first and second floor, I took the third, third and fourth floor and knocked people's doors to get them out of the building. So about 10, 15 minutes, everybody was outside. In that time, the fire department was here and it took about three hours for them to get the uh, fire under control. We we're still waiting for lights to come back on. Uh, you have officials in my apartments and all the smoke and stuff, so I don't even know what's going to happen from now, from now until then. You guys really are their first first encounters of a situation, and you really gave a sense of stability and people a sense of comfort. A situation that was uncomfortable and maddening and just lost. You know, the Red Cross really gave us a sense of a foundation. A very big fan of living downtown in Mansfield has come along a lot since that time. Um, there's a lot more um, to see and do downtown, a lot more festivities for the Ohioan. You know, then they decided to move my stuff up to the second floor and put it in a spare apartment that no one was using. And they kept my stuff here for eight months, which was a big, big relief for me. Having your foundation shook really gives you to grow up and say the world's not about you, which brought me to doing the benefit because I was put on the streets along with everyone else. So it wasn't just about me, it was just about really helping someone and finding that peace of mind. For us, it's okay. Right now, God gave you something that you can learn from and grow from. So I just put that towards being a positive person and just put my best foot forward and really give somebody a role model for someone. We got to have some words for Valerie, and that as her goodness motivated me to be good and do something for the building. So I just needed to just pull people together. Because I know after with the building, after the fire, people were going to move out. It was just nobody wanted to wait that long back in the apartment. Some people had kids. They couldn't really stay at their friend's house or their family's house for a long period of time. So I just want to bring everybody together so until everybody went their own separate ways. It's for one night, you know. Give us something to celebrate.